Because oftentimes I lose the teleprompter. You know, teleprompters go out. But she lost a teleprompter last week. Did you see it? She was talking about 32 days to the election. And she goes, there are 32 days. Oh. Oh, my God. I just lost a teleprompter. 32. Then she, 32. 32. 32. 32. And I said, what the hell happened to her? And then the teleprompter kicked back on. 32 days to the election. You don't, you don't want this for your president. Remember his number? 32. Today we got 32 days until the election. <laughs> so 32 days. 32 days. Okay, we got some business to do. We got some business to do. All right. 32 days. And we know we will do it. And, and this is going to be a very tight race until the very end. This is going to be a very tight race until the very end. We are the underdog, and we know we have some hard work ahead. What's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me today. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit the like button because that's the most important thing you can do for me on this channel. What it does, that helps to make sure that those who are subscribed to the channel will need to get their notifications, and it also helps to push this video through the YouTube algorithm as well. Secondly, if you're new to the channel or maybe you've been ghost watching this channel for quite some time now, please do me a favor and yourself a favor by hitting the subscribe button as well as the bell notification next to the subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. And lastly, please make sure you share this video out on your social media platforms to your family and friends to inform them on this news and information. And yes, that does help to give me a slight boost in the YouTube algorithm as well. And with the introduction out of the way, let's get into today's news. And today we have to discuss Kamala Harris's horrible town hall performance that she delivered on Univision yesterday. Now, for those of you who don't know, Univision is a Spanish speaking a channel, a Spanish speaking station, right? News station uh, that's obviously and clearly geared toward the Hispanic and Latino community. And she needed this town hall on Univision because she is actually polling horribly with the Hispanic community particularly with Hispanic Latino men, but with the Hispanic community overall, she's just not doing well with them polling wise. So if she wanted to come across as if she was at least trying to get the Hispanic vote, she needed this town hall on Univision, but she bombed it. She failed it miserably because over and over again, she would just revert to the same script and even use the same script that we've heard time and time again out of context in relation to the questions that are actually being asked. It was actually very odd. Now, one of the standout moments that occurred here is essentially how scripted the town hall was because she was using a teleprompter. And when the camera was panning around, when they realized they caught the teleprompter, they abruptly cut the teleprompter off. Now, that might not seem like a big deal to some people. But once again, this is a town hall. It's essentially supposed to be an organic moment where you're having robust conversations, taking questions and answering these questions honestly uh, in, in a way that just makes everybody feels comfortable and just kind of shows who you are as a real person. But as we all know, we don't even really know who the real Kamala Harris is because everything is scripted. Look at this here. I just want to show you this quickly because I find it kind of rather humorous. Right. Look at this. Victim of crime. Are you a Republican? Are you a Democrat? The only question I ever ask is, are you okay? And sadly, we have seen over the last two weeks since Hurricane Helene. Don't you find it odd that she's repeating the same script that we've heard over and over again? And I don't care if you're a Democrat. I don't care if you're a Republican. My question that I ask you is, are you okay? We've heard you say this a million times before. Why do you need a teleprompter for this still? It's really odd. But the thing is, is that her getting caught using a teleprompter in a town hall, that's actually the least of her worries. Because remember what I stated earlier about her reciting the same script, but out of context in relation to the questions that's being asked. This man that I'm going to pull up here asked a question, and I'm going to paraphrase, concerning the healthcare system in America. He needed an MRI, I believe it was on his knee, and it took about two years for him just to be able to get an appointment here in the country. After two years of waiting, 
he just said to himself, you know what? I'm going to go to Mexico and get this done. And he was able to get a handle in 45 minutes. Now, following that story, he proceeded to ask Kamala Harris, what are you going to do to fix the health care system? And this was Kamala Harris's answer. And in less than 45 minutes, I was already seeing a specialist and having rehab. Hmm. My question to you is, what is your plan to improve the medical system? Look, I come from the middle class. My mother was a working woman who raised me and my sister. My mother was able to finally, she saved up to be able to afford to buy a home by the time I was a teenager. I know everyone has ambition, works hard, has aspirations, but doesn't necessarily have all the resources that other people have. What does that have to do with the question that this man is asking concerning how you're going to change uh, the healthcare system? To where I don't have to, you know, cross the border and go over to Mexico for a service that I should be able to get here in the States in a decent amount of time, not two years. How are you going to change the healthcare system for the better? Well, you know, I grew up in a middle class family and my mom worked hard and she bought her first first home. And, you know, I grew up in a neighborhood where, you know, people they loved and took care of their lawns. What are you talking about? It's almost as if Kamala Harris is having some sort of a malfunction, a glitch. Because it doesn't make sense that you're answering the question in this way. And she comes across as being so ridiculously tone deaf to what's happening around her and how to even properly respond to questions. Look and listen to the way that she disrespects this man when he asks about hurricane relief and how the administration could have and should have done better. She's going to disrespect this man and tell me, hey, and now is not the time for politics. Listen to this. Do enough uh, in terms of relief for families affected by Helene. What would your administration do differently in the case of Milton? Well, first of all, thank you for the question. And I hope your family is okay and your home is okay. Yes, they are, ma'am. Okay. So there has been a lot of mis and disinformation about what we have been doing over the last two weeks and what we are going to do going forward. And I have to stress that this is not a time for people to play politics. How disrespectful is that? First, you insult this man's intelligence, talking about mis and disinformation. And then you revert, you go to tell him now is not the time to play politics. No one has been playing politics with hurricane season more than Kamala Harris. She's the one that's calling up to CNN and local uh, Florida news stations pretending to be a hurricane expert. It's ridiculous. Giving them basic information as if she's saying something profound. You need to listen to your governor and your sheriffs and, you know, you have to evacuate the, your city. And, you know, the difference between a Category 5 and a Category 4 is not much of a difference. You know, it's going to be a lot of damage. But, you know, you just got to make sure you take it seriously and evacuate. Why are you even calling these news stations? Have you ever heard? Forget about Kamala Harris just playing politics. Have you ever heard of a sitting president, whether it was Biden, whether it was uh, Trump before him, whether it was Obama, whether it was George W. Bush, whether it was Bill Clinton? During hurricane season, when there's a really bad hurricane coming on, when has a sitting president ever called into a news station to give people you know, advice on what they need to do? You've never heard that before. But you saw that with Kamala Harris because she's literally the only one playing politics with hurricane season, but then is charging the audience, the very people that you need to convince to vote for you, you're charging them with playing politics and telling them that huh, you're just succumbing to misinformation and disinformation. That is unbelievable. The disrespect is wild. But here's the cherry on top. I want you to listen here to how Kamala Harris has made it perfectly clear as she has multiple times over, that if she gets into office, she's going to put in place a mass amnesty bill that gives citizenship to all. I want to play this for you right now. Pledge to you is that by the grace of God and hopefully with your support as well, when I am elected president, I will bring back that border security bill and I will sign it into law and do the work of focusing on what we must do to have an orderly and humane pathway to earn citizenship. And one of the biggest problems with failure to have a, a, a comprehensive plan for immigration is that we have not given them the pathway to earn their right 
to citizenship. And that is, again, that is one of the, the priorities for me, frankly, in terms of my motivation for what I know we must do. And I think it's... Um, I think it, it should compel us to agree they should not have to live in fear, but should have an ability to be on a pathway to earn their citizenship. So it is one of my priorities. She said it three times. Three times. She's making it a very clear, abundantly clear, that when she gets into office, her number one primary goal is to pass a mass amnesty bill, a citizenship for all bill. Regardless of if you just crossed the border illegally last week or not, you're a citizen, just like that. And we all know what that means in terms of votes. But what's even more interesting but that I notice continues to go over people's heads, not to be insulting towards the audience and those of you listening, but I don't see this spoken enough on and addressed, is how she keeps harping on the fact that she's going to pass the uh, border bill that failed twice this year, right? If it failed twice this year, the only way they're going to pass it is if she gets elected as president and they have a trifecta in which the Democrats control the White House, the House and the Senate. If they don't have a trifecta, she is not passing that bill that has already failed twice. So what she's essentially telling you is that you can expect the migrant crisis to continue as it has been happening currently now. You can expect it to go on. You can expect another 10 to 15 million, if not potentially more, to cross the border. And this is despite the fact that essentially that bill in and of itself legalizes the migrant crisis. But that's a whole nother conversation for another day. We've discussed that multiple times over, but I'm not gonna get into all that right now. If we're just going to play the game that that border bill stems the flow of illegal immigration, well, then that tells you that if she's going to continue to try and pass a bill that has failed twice, unless they have a trifecta coming in, that bill is not going to get passed for another four years, which means the migrant crisis continues. And in my opinion, that's exactly what they want. It's what they want. They don't want that bill to pass. They want it to continue. But I'll leave that there, man. With all that being said, that does it for today's news. This was atrocious. She bombed this miserably. Uh, this was a scripted event that even with it being scripted, she couldn't recite her script properly uh, within context in relation to the questions that are being asked to her. She's, she keeps repeating over and over again how I'm from the middle class. She keeps giving the same answers about how I don't care whether or not you're a Democrat or a Republican. All I care about is whether or not you're okay. Her teleprompter is going out because they're freaking out because they don't want it to look scripted. She failed miserably once again. But that's what Kamala Harris does. Fails over and over and over again. So with all that being said, thank you all for joining me today, man. Hit the like button on your way out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Share this video on your social media platforms. And also, don't forget to follow me on Telegram and Rumble. That is extremely important that you do that. Please follow me on Telegram and Rumble. Both my Telegram and Rumble link will be in the description box below and pinned in the comment section as well. Thank you all for your time. And until the next video, peace and have a great afternoon.